It is Friday, March 2nd. It is 5.07. I didn't get to do my podcast on time because I had a whole bunch of other shit I had to do. It is Friday. Today was my daughter's first game for basketball, which I was there. Of course I was going to be there. I wouldn't miss my daughter playing basketball for nothing. But let me get, I'll get back to that and touch on that in a second. Because uh, this podcast is going to be slightly different on a Friday because I got some shit I got to say. Shit I'm going to vent. And, you know, it's just, you know, fuck people. All right. But, you know, it's Friday. I recommend something. I just recently got something that I thought was legit. I was paying $100 a month for internet and satellite. Well, now I'm only paying like, a, like I want to say... 30 bucks like i'm paying 60 bucks for internet high speed internet and then 35 dollars for fucking um 35 dollars for fucking uh, inter- uh internet tv direct tv now i'm using it shits on demand i get live tv oh and let me scratch that i was paying 150 to 165 dollars a month for internet and direct tv all right, that's how much I was paying. Now I'm paying like eighty bucks a month because I have internet, and then I have internet TV from Direct TV. So it's it's better. I can watch every single show I want because I have on fucking demand. I can watch whatever movies they have on there because it's on fucking demand. I can enjoy that way better than I am. I've added to my arsenal of fucking Netflix, Amazon Prime, and motherfucking uh, you know as internet TV shows and providers that I fucking watch. So. That's what I'm fucking recommending. If you want to dump the fucking satellite and just get internet and internet TV, I fucking recommend it. You know, and if you don't fucking want to hear it, oh fucking well. But typically I tell stories on Fridays and I ain't got a fucking story to tell. I wish I did have a story to fucking tell, which I'll have to fucking say it another fucking day. So I'll just throw that one back in the bucket. But today was my daughter's first basketball game. All right. Look, she's only 10 years old. She's playing for a school league. I don't expect much as in players playing and shit going on. But you know what? There's a certain amount that I expect from refs. Refereeing. Being the ref. I got I got I have I have a certain expe- expectation, you know, a fairness of calling games right. Look, This team led against my daughter's team. Like I said, it's a school league. Between 8 to 10 points the whole fucking game. Making bad calls. Calling shit on our fucking team. Not calling shit on their fucking team. They had so many penalties and yet we had none. Alright. They want to call foul. They can call fucking foul. I don't fucking give a fuck. But it has to be even. It has to be right. It has. If I can watch a foul happen and you don't fucking call it. If I can watch the other team double dribble, but yet you want to call it on my fucking team. Yet you want to fucking call up and down on my fucking on our, my fucking team, but not the other fucking team. Fuck you. Fuck that ref. They need to have a new fucking ref. There needs to be a new refereeing. Uh, I, look, I don't give a fuck if this guy's volunteering. I don't give a fuck if this guy's giving out his fucking time to do this. If you're going to fucking do it, do it motherfucking right. All right? My team lost by a whopping 12 fucking points. 12 motherfucking points. How? Look. Our team wasn't great. Our team wasn't good. But neither was theirs. It should have been a closer fucking game. Right off top, within the first fucking quarter, they score 10 fucking points. All because of fouls. All because of what they were doing. All because the fucking ref couldn't do his fucking job. Fuck him. Look, I didn't want to get thrown out of the fucking game, so I wasn't going to say anything. Of course, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to fucking, you know, mutter shit under my fucking breath because I'm in a fucking crowded fucking area of a school location where I can't use the kind of language I want to fucking use. I can't just walk up to this fucking ref in the middle of the fucking game and straighten him fucking out like I would typically do. But it, it, it just pisses me to fuck off that this motherfucker did this shit. That my daughter's team lost. And it was a great fucking... Look, every player had a good fucking point. They did their part, alright? Everyone did their part. But this fucking ref, fuck this motherfucker. Look, in school functions, it needs to be even. It needs to be fair. It needs to... Have, look, we weren't the home team. We were the visiting team. So right on top, they have home, court, home field advantage. Well, guess what? That home field advantage came along with a fucking ref. 
fuck him, fuck this shit. I can't stand this shit. I'm big on sports. There's a reason why I don't talk sports. There's a reason why I fucking keep that shit to myself. I enjoy it. I watch it. You know, I don't speak to many people about fucking sports because I will beat somebody up because that's how serious I take my fucking sports. Look, I want shit to be played right, played. If we lose, we lose. We win, we win. Great. But as long as it was by our hand and not the fucking rest and not nobody fucking else. God, mother, like like I said, fuck that guy. Fuck that ref. You know, of course I'm in a school function, so I can't just fucking uproar and fucking call fucking bullshit on him right fucking there like I would want to. And I wouldn't even give a fuck if another parent would say something to me about it. But what it is is this is my daughter's school. And I can't just make a fucking scene because then I can't fucking come back. I'll complain every fucking time if I see shit going on. But fuck them. Fuck that shit. Our team was way fucking better than the other team. Like I said, we're they're both not great, but my team was better. And it was better in the fact that we had quality players. Look, they were letting shit, letting the other team do so much fucking shit. Two on one, fucking pushing and pu- pulling and throwing and fucking so many fucking fouls that we should have got that we didn't fucking get because this fucking ref's an ignorant motherfucker that doesn't do a shit. And he's fucking Asian. He needed to open his fucking eyes a little bit more so he could fucking see, I guess. But at the same fucking time, fuck him. That shit fucking pisses me off. I can't stand that fucking shit. I can't stand people like that. I can't stand that fucking bullshit. You know, if you agree to be a ref, you sign up to be a ref, then you better call it down the fucking middle because motherfuckers like me are going to wait for you in the fucking parking lot because you fucking pissed me off of what you fucking did. Two things are going to fucking happen. You get a piece of my fucking mind and you might fucking get something else. Man, I can't stand motherfuckers, man. I can't, you know, like I said, I love my kids playing sports. I love watching my kids playing sports and I love it being fair and fucking even. But when it's fucking not, oh my God, it gets my fucking blood boiling and me fucking so irritated. My son, my oldest son was with me and he had to go sit with his mom because he seen how upset I was and didn't want him to say one goddamn thing to me because he knew I'd blow up. I wouldn't blow up on him. I'd just blow up on the situation. He understood what the fuck was going on. You know, he kept looking at me and said, oh, I knew you wanted to say something, Dad. I'm surprised you did it. Yeah, well, you know what? Like I said, this ain't my school. I ain't from this school and I ain't from this area. So, you know, I don't want to fucking fuck shit up for my daughter. But it's a quick fucking podcast. That's all I'm fucking saying. You know, oh, my fucking God. You know, it's short and fucking sweet today because I got to fucking still drive fucking home because I'm in sunny fucking Vale. Cooper fucking Tino, you know. <sighs> I got a fucking long fucking drive on the way fucking back home. But that's how that fucking shit goes. Every fucking time. But it's okay. Like I said, you know, I don't know how many games I'm going to be able to come see my daughter, but I came to see her fucking first one. You know, hey, before we even came to the game, she knows me so well. She was like, Dad, when you come, do not yell, do not scream, do not do anything. I tried. I tried. Believe me, I tried. If you watch my Instagram story, you're going to hear my fucking voice the whole fucking time. But at the same fucking time... She knew what I was going to do. I, I kept it cool. I didn't do what I would normally fucking do, but I kept it cool. I can't stand motherfucking shit. I can't stand it. Like I said, it eats me to fuck up. I can't fucking deal with motherfuckers. And I'm hungry, too. I'm fucking doing intermediate fasting, and I haven't fucking eaten in fucking 16 hours. And I'm fucking just tip-top blown the fuck up, ready to fucking just jump on fucking somebody. Or at least someone to fucking hear what I got to fucking say, which is, unfortunately, everybody listening to this motherfucking podcast right now because fuck them fucking coat. Fuck that ref. Fuck Look. <clears throat> I can't coach every team. You know what I'm saying? But I would sure fucking love to. You know? I know basketball. I know baseball. I know football. I know fucking all that fucking shit. I would love to coach every fucking team I could for my kids. But I don't. You know? I'm coaching baseball right now, which I'll leave it at that. You know? But at the same fucking time. Oh, my God. Like I said, that game just pisses me the fuck off. All right? I still got to drive home. I'm going to cut it short. I got to write all the fucking shit on fucking here. You know what I'm saying? So fuck this school that we just fucking came to. I don't fucking know what the fucking name of the school is. I know is these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Cheating like a son of a bitch. You know? There's an angry fucking dad podcast. You hear me rant on about children's fucking sports. Like I said. You know, I could. there's a lot more I could have did, but I didn't do. So respect it. 
You know, it says Angry Fucking Dad Podcast. You fucking find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Tumblr, fucking whatever fucking social media you fucking think of. I'm probably fucking on it. B to the fourth fucking power. You can't fucking figure it out. Oh, fucking well. Same fucking time. If you get me on fucking YouTube, subscribe, hit the fucking bell marker. So that's another access point you can get this fucking podcast from. And also my fucking videos. All right. <sighs> Terrible Terror Podcast. Check them out. It Be Like That Podcast. Check them out. I will be on It Be Like That this weekend. Tomorrow. Because today is Friday. Tomorrow is fucking Saturday. And it'll be the third. And I'll be on It Be Like That. You're also live streaming it, so you can find them on their YouTube and also find it on Spreaker. That's where they be live streaming it from both of those fucking things. All right? You know, IBLT Podcast. That's where you'll find it on fucking social media. Terrible Terracot Podcast. You'll find it right there, same social media. But on Twitter, it is T underscore T underscore podcast. That's how you'll find the But IBLT Podcast for the rest of the ones for it be like that. So go fucking find them, check it out, and fucking, you know, fucking show some fucking love. All right? Subscribe, like, share, all that fucking bullshit. All right? And those who needed an update on Tannis while that motherfucking shit came out, I understand it's the first fucking episode of season fucking one, but God fucking damn it, it wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be, but it cleared up some stuff, and obviously they got to clear some shit up. All right? So go check it all fucking out because I fucking said so, all right? It's fucking Friday. I'll see you motherfuckers on motherfucking Monday, all right? Fuck.